everybody, Patty Ann here again today. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use the image effects panel. There's a little hidden gem in there, and I'm going to show you how to use that to switch up the colors of some of these things just with one click of a button, basically. So I'm going to be designing some shirts for a family reunion, and I'm going to switch up the colors of one of these little images, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a sec. At the end of the video, I will have linked the previous video where you can enter to win this. Yep, a Cameo 4 Pro. That's the one with the 24 inch cutting width. And Creative Fabrica has donated that to the crafting community. So all you have to do is follow the instructions that they've given in the previous video, and you may be the winner. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, here I am in Creative Fabrica, and I'm going to download this. Notice when I click on the word download, it comes down here in the lower left-hand corner, and I'll click on that to open it. Once it's opened, I will have to extract everything before I can use it. And I do like to have this button checked at all times, and I always download everything to my Downloads folder. So once I've done that, I'll just click the word Extract, and there it is, it's downloaded, and now I can use these things. Now I can't really see them very well, but if I right click and say view large icons, then I can see clearly what all is in this little bundle that you get, okay? So I'm just looking through here. Here's the one I want to use, and it's the PNG file. So I actually opened up Silhouette, and I'm going to merge that file in. So I went to File and Merge, and then I went to the folder and found the one that I wanted. Once again, right-clicking, saying View. I said Medium Icons this time. And I'm looking for the image. It's right there, so I'll click on it to open it. And as you can see, it opened up on my mat to the right. So I'm just going to show you, I had downloaded some mock-ups just so you could see what it's going to look like on the shirts. So there's a, a um, woman size shirt and then a baby onesie. And I think this would be really cute to have this for both for the reunion. So I'm just showing you how you could show your customer or your relatives, whoever you're making this for, what it would look like prior to actually making it. And I think it's super cute. Okay, at this point, I just right clicked on the one and said copy. And then I came over to my mat and right clicked and pasted it onto the mat so I can show you some of what the image effects panel will do. There it is. I'm going to make it larger so we can see. I'll twirl it. When you use that twirly button, hold down your shift key because it makes it so it goes really straight. It just kind of jumps into place. So now I'm making it larger. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you could switch this design up really quickly with a little hidden gem of a button in Silhouette. So let's go over here to the right hand side and go to this panel, which is called the Effects Panel. Looks like a, a moon to me that's half lit up. Click on that, and then you're going to go to the second button in from the left, and you'll notice it says Colorize. Okay, click on that, and then the word Hue will show up. While I have this selected, I can come over here and change the Hue, and I watch how those colors are changing just like that. So I could basically be making the same shirt, just changing up the colors for people if I was selling these. Or uh, I was thinking this would be a fun thing to do for maybe a family reunion. So what I did was I typed out a name here and I just came up with one of the um, fonts. And I'm going to show you how to easily change the fonts to go through them to try things as well. So I'll click on this to select it. And I'm going to come over here to the font style panel, open that up, and I'm just going to start right now. What I have is Playful Jake. I think that may have been a free one from either, 
It may have been from Creative Fabrica or it might have been from Defont.com. But anyway, once I have this selected and I select it over here, I can use the down arrow on my keyboard one at a time and just have it scroll through these different fonts to see if I see one that I like, that I would really like. And of course I can change the size of it and how far apart the letters are, the character spacing. So I would just go through all of these. And <laughs> that was blood, scary Halloween font. All right. So I could just go through these and pick out something. The one that I had before, let's go back, let's see, was Playful Jake. I thought that was kind of cute. You know, you may not want to put this on any, but if you're doing something for a fam family reunion and you want everyone to have a like a similar shirt, and then I just took the letters or the number 2022 for the year and stuck that on there. But again, what I wanted to show was how easy it is to change the colors of these. And this is if you're doing this for um, sublimation or the printable vinyl, the printable heat transfer paper type stuff. So again, you just come up here to this half moon, go to the second button over, and with that selected, you can just change it like this to get different colors. And beyond that, then you can, you know, change the contrast or the saturation. Okay. And then if you apply that, uh, this is, okay, let's see what will this do. Okay. This continues to change the colors depending on what you like. Okay. This puts a shadow on it underneath of it. You see that? And that would show up if you were doing this for sublimation. It would put a shadow on there. And you can change the transparency of the shadow after I have it selected. Yeah, there we go. And you can change the shadow's color to something darker if you'd like. Now, I think that detracts from the word summer that's in black in here. So I'm going to come back up here and click on no shadow because I like that better. And you know, you may or may not want this, any of this on here, but let's take it over. Whoopsie. Undo. So let's put this here. Uh, what I'm going to do is grab both of these things, come up here to this and say center like that. Okay, to me, I like it a little bit higher and a little bit over like this. So the Y can go down right before the M. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the hue. Let's see if I can still. Yeah, there we go, I like that better. Bright, happy colors. So I'm gonna group these and then bring them over here and try them on my mock-up. So this is what I had had if you want to change it up. And this is what we have now. So that's how easy it is to just kind of personalize things and make it fun for your family and friends this summer. Okay, I wanted to thank you again for joining me today. I hope you found some benefit in this tutorial. And I want to remind you to go ahead and please watch the previous video so that you get all the details about the giveaway for the Cameo 4 Pro. The contest ends June 2nd, 2022, so you still have plenty of time to enter. Just watch the video, and I'll have it linked right above here, and um, you'll be able to join and get everything from Creative Fabrica for a dollar for a month. Remember, everything comes with a commercial license. You get to keep whatever it is you download in that month's time, even if you decide that you're going to cancel. If you don't cancel, you can keep subscribed and then cancel at any time. So again, thanks for joining me. And hey, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really, really love it when y'all subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when my new videos go live. Thanks so much. I'll see y'all again soon. Bye now.